Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. On this channel we try to use technical analysis uh, including WDCAN analysis, Elliot Wave analysis and traditional technical analysis to find trading opportunities to find the edge in the market. One part of the research or the analysis that keeps stays hidden from you is WD GAN analysis, and I'm really open about it. Uh, I do not come that okay. I'm really uh, great at working out Elliott wave patterns, uh, and I have say, say it time and again on my on my channel that uh, the one problem with Elliott wave analysis is that you can all you can only confirm a pattern that this pattern is happened after it has happened. So anything before the pattern has happened. We use different technical tools to um, increase the probability of the right uh, labeling. So, in from time to time, I do give some hints and clues on uh, WD GAN analysis. If some of you guys are interested, go ahead and read it. It's a, it's a tremendous amount of study that you have to do. It's not a light study that you have to do uh, for WD GAN analysis. In today's analysis, we will continue our um, uh, video or our analysis of the previous series, which is the analysis of gold and silver. Uh, now, I'll do a quick analysis on a longer term, and then I will dig into uh, what's happening on a smaller time frame analysis. Let's uh, first of all, silver is in front of us. The chart is really beautiful. Um, the labeling is in front of you. I'm expecting that we have considered uh, completed the wave A right over here, which is complete right over here, and we are considering this as an B pattern, A B C pattern. So a 5 wave structure, a 3 wave structure, and I'm expecting the prices would come down to create a 5 wave structure at least, if nothing more. All right. So we have a 5 wave structure correction, another 5 wave structure downward is expected. And we can easily see from the pattern as well, we have lower lows and lower highs pattern right over here. So we have a high right over here, we have a, a low right over here, and from this on we have starts a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, and a lower high and this lower high is also falling on the trend line this is also very important trend line It's kind of get confirmed this is right now kind of fourth point on the trend line so it's a confirmation that trend line is valid right now so what's happening on a smaller time frame on a larger time frame I told you guys that we are expecting something like um, like this happening we are expecting something like this happening this is not exactly giving the pipe in the, in the price levels this is to include uh, that this is a 5 wave structure kind of behavior that we are expecting. We might see this region right over here, repetition right over here. Let's uh, finalize over here. So we, we are kind of expecting a 5 wave pattern. Once again, these levels are just for um, illustration purpose. These are not uh, as, uh, as target for potential reversals. Let me de uh, delete that and then we'll get back on a smaller time frame. Let's have a look on what's happening on an hourly time frame. So those of uh, yesterday, I had a, a little trouble, uh, but today we have soon, uh, seen more uh, wave analysis. And I want to uh, have a question for you. What are you looking right now? Does it indicate that we have completed the price target right over here and we are reversing or what's happening right now? Okay. Here's my belief. I think something we are actually completing a, a leading diagonal on a very small time frame. Okay. Right from the top, we are seeing... A complete uh, a leading diagonal. Uh, we'll start right from over here. This is sub wave one right over here, which ended five wave structure. Sub wave two, sub wave three, sub wave four, and sub wave five. There's also a little hit in the price structure, and the price hint is uh, we can actually let me have a look. Go to the settings. We need to change the. Uh, it's not a super cycle. We need to change it to a lower minuet. I would say yeah, that would be reasonable. So we need to say that menu at so this is a five wave structure that we're expecting and there is a little hint as far as price target for the next wave is concerned and what is that hint if you look closely wave one is equal in terms of length to wave three that means there's a high probability that we are going to see in the fifth wave equal to wave one and three this happened this is one variation of a five wave structure in which all three waves are uh, the impulsive waves are equal, are kind of equal in length, not exactly, but kind of equal. You get my approximation, you can say, approximately equal uh, in size. And this happens in extended waves. This is exactly what we are seeing. We are seeing wave one of a larger wave structure to be, uh, to be uh, 
a leading diagonal and the reason this is important is uh, because once this structure is complete the correction would not complete the smaller wave itself the crack the correction that would happen after that would complete would actually crack the whole structure right from the top so there's a potential for it that mar market can go do something like this there's another structure the market can do go deeply like this so there's all sorts of possibility but we'll keep in mind that the correction that happens after the fifth wave would be actually correcting the whole move right from the top for example right now look at we have this move and looking at the price we can see that this price kind of corrected this previous move and we have another impulsive move and we can see that the previous move that, that actually complete it looks like it's kind of complete uh, is kind of correcting the previous impulse wave so the next impulse wave is expected to be of equal length right over here and then the correction is expected uh, to go at least 50 percent that would be really healthy what I'm saying is at least 50 percent is we are to expect something like this okay give me a moment to okay when let's say prices fall out let's uh, have a look what's the the target is first of all we are taking a little too many steps at once so the potential target for the price downward let's say we have seen the correction complete at the top would be right over here that would be our potential target for the next uh, impulsive bearish wave on a smaller time frame and once that will give us an, a total length of right over here and we can see uh, hardly we can also see that uh, the waves are kind of right over here we can see nice points coming in handy resistance right over here so uh, what's happening expected after that we are expecting something like this once that we miss that we see that wave we kind of expecting something like this at least 50 percent but it could definitely go to right over here five section it can definitely go to right over here too so we'll just keep it at 75 percent for our personal use uh, just in case things go down south so this will give you preparation and a lot of time when prices go up and come down at that moment people are really looking at the previous bearish move and they're really passionate the prices are going to go continue down and at that moment we st start see the, the larger price movement upward this is my analysis on silver we are to expect bearish move first and then followed by this one and this is an alternate count if you're really serious making plenty of money just keep your stop loss beyond this right over here and leave it on itself and it will make you a lot of money <clears throat> but if you're really really active this is one of the high probability setups that I'm looking into silver let's have a look at at uh, gold let's see what's happening at gold <clears throat> So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying tea or coffee. I love tea. And I just had a good sip of a really good tea, mate. Anyway, let's back to get back to our analysis section. And this is what we are seeing, okay? Um, this is gold long term. I'm expecting that we are, uh, one of the subscriber brought an excellent point that here, I was looking at it, here is the double top on a weekly time frame, right over here we can see that we have double top and on a smaller time frame we are also seeing a double top and this itself is a very very good point for gold to be bearish in terms of the pattern itself we can definitely look at it we can actually see clearly a 5 wave structure right over here an A, a B and a C I know C has gone much deeper than uh, we were expecting but here it is right now and anytime if you look at this probably support line as well right now prices are also hitting that target we are very very close to reversal however we haven't seen and the top made as well because every time prices goes down it jumps up back again and I know it's getting annoying but we are very very close uh, to creating the right structure let's have a look on what's happening on a smaller time frame and maybe maybe we can actually come up with a okay first thing is really let me have a look We can delete this black line so we can actually start seeing structures easily. 
Okay, since gold, since silver is clearly expected to come down, we are expecting kind of this behavior right over here. Which brings us to point that could this be a possibility that we are looking at a A, B, C structure, a correction, another A, B, and C structure, a correction right over here that would come on complete the correction really, really deep, another zigzag is expected to create a new high in gold. So let me draw that again. Uh, let me actually get that 15 minute chart and and that would be completing an ending diagonal okay it's a 15 minute chart let me see if we can get that right here it is okay so I'm right now considering this as wave 1 of an ending diagonal and wave 2 of an ending diagonal wave 3 of an ending diagonal wave 4 which is yet not complete of an ending diagonal and we are to expect another move upward and uh, this is getting really I do understand that let's label that quickly ABC structure actually let's label an ending diagonal first so we're considering this right now as the start of the pattern right over here and this as wave 1 and this as wave 2 this as wave 3 that would be wave 4 right over here and then another wave upward a zigzag would be really appreciated and in that case right now if let me see where the my right over here so this is what we are uh, expecting right now and in, in that case gold is still a lot of is gonna spend a lot of time zigzagging upward so before it moves it is gonna it is gonna test a lot of people right over here so we can use definitely something like this uh, actually give me a moment it'll be wiser if you use a trend channel okay you can definitely use uh, those trend lines I am well aware of it but it will be wiser to use something like this one right over here so another thing that I, I use and I'm experimenting with that thing and I really found interesting um, interesting results is that instead of uh, using half of the trend channel you can actually divide the trend channel into three equal parts and then you would actually find really really interesting results as well do go ahead and play with it and you'll definitely that can definitely love the results right now we're looking at gold to complete a top yet we are right now looking at as an ABT structure this structure complete and we are thinking right now that we another move downward is expected in gold to complete this pattern right over here once this pattern is complete another push upward is expected this turn would give an indication let's say the prices actually go below this one which is 1896 would actually confirm that we have created a top right over here all right in that case we would become wave one and two right over here wave three would be this one wave four would be this one and that would be wave five so be really careful with the gold one i would stay away from gold right now till actually get a confirmation on a larger time frame we are getting very very close to making a top and gold when completes this ending diagonal would be definitely crashing through um, like a hot knife goes through butter so we are very the price is way over overbought right now we overbought territory I measure uh, bears and bulls on my own and I'm looking at it that gold is way overbought so I mean as soon as people realize that it's not worth of keeping gold in this particular economic environment they're gonna sell gold like crazy and that's what make will, will make gold drop uh, really sharply I hope that you were able to actually get some information and I was able to provide some help on your analysis wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye